Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do an Aquarius love prediction reading for September 5th through September 11th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know that this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you decide to give me a, a, a subscription or a like. Thank you. Let's see what's going on with my lovable kind, sweet, friendly, adorable Aquariuses. Show me what's going on with my Aquarius spirit guys. Show me what's going on with my Aquas. Show me spirit guys. What's going on with my Aquarius? Show me spirit guys. Let's see what's going on with my Aquarius. Show me. Let's see. Aquarius. Let's see what you got going on. Six of Cups. Two of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Hangman, and the Two of Cups. Oh boy. Aquarius. <laughs> you just can't leave them alone, can you, Aquarius? No matter how hard you try, you can't leave them alone. Whenever they call, whenever they text, whatever they do, you just can't leave them alone. Because there's this Six of Cups that's leading your reading. The Six of Cups is having great memories. It's also my reunion card. It's, 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 you, you know, you try real hard because next to that Six of Cups is the Two of Pentacles. And that's an emotion that's juggling emotion. One time you say, yes, I'm not going to pick up the call. I'm not going to answer. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do a ring, ring. And you pick up. You see the text and you try to ignore it, but guess what? You respond. You can't get away from this person. Whomever this is, I, I don't know whom this is, but you can't walk away from them. There's also, um, with this person, there's abundance that's here, the Ace of Pentacles. There's an abundance here. This person um, knows how to make money or it's just abundant in their life right now. And when, when I say abundant, it could be abundant with money, abundant with love. They're just in abundance. There's abundance around this person. There's generosity around this person. But, you, you I mean, you try to leave them alone, but you can't. And you know it might not be the best for you because every time you come away feeling down and out. But you just can't walk away from this person. And I don't know what it is. And hopefully you guys can get it together. And hopefully the spirit guys will show me. But you can't. There's abundance here as well. And abundance is in the middle of your reading. So not only are they good to you, they're good for you. Because you can't walk away from them. And here's this hanged man here. And the hanged man is all about being aware. And you. And the thing is, is that you know you can't walk. You, you try to tell yourself, but you can't. You know you're gonna be right there with them no matter what. You're gonna stay there. And you know, it's and you know, Aquarius is you know, that's a pretty hard feat to get you to stay there. Because, you know, you tend to uh, you know, love them and leave them sometimes or kind of float on and do your own thing. But not with this person. This person's got you. They've got your heart, they've got your mind, they've got you. And let me tell you the reason I know they got you. Here's that two of cups. Two of cups, um, energy here at the end of this portion of the reading. It's all about being um, in love with someone, someone that makes just, um, you, you want to hold their hand. You just want to be in their presence. You love them. You have the same mindset. You, when you guys get together, you talk alike. Um, you know, you can do public displays of affection. There's something about this person that turns you on. No matter what, you can't leave them. They bring too much to the table for you. So let's see what's going to happen here. I'm not quite sure. Um, let's see what's going to happen. Hopefully the spirit guys will tell me why these cards are there. I'm going to clarify the reading for you just to find out. If I were you, I would sit back and just relax. Give me three to five minutes and let me see what the spirit guys are going to say. Because I'm going to clarify the cards. Why is the six of cups here? Show me spirit guys. Why do you have the six of cups here, spirit guys? What do you want me to know? Show me spirit guys. Why is the six of cups here? Show me why the six of cups is here. For my Aquarius. Show me why the Six of Cups is here. Show me. 
Well, I've got that hanged man again. Thank you, spirit guys. Whenever the spirit guys give you the same cards in the reading, that means I'm telling you exactly what they want you to know. Six of Cups is, is just about awareness. It's about being very aware of this person. But you know, you, you, you try to juggle this emotion up with this two of pentacles next to it. But here, here, you, you know, you... You have such good memories. You you get back with them. You guys can't leave each other alone. This you just I don't know. You just can't. And you're very aware of that. You, you know that. You know that you can't leave each other alone. You understand that. It's 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 a given. So let's see why the two of pentacles is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the two of pentacles here? I have the five of swords. The five of swords and um I told you, every time you get with them, it's a head trip. It's a head game. It's You guys, somehow, it's something that's a conflict in your mind when it comes to this person. It's like, it's something about them when it comes to them. I don't know. Maybe they have another mate. I don't know. Maybe they're, they're with someone. Maybe you're with someone else, too. But whenever you get with this person, there's some type of head game. There's a head game. You feel like... um. You just feel like you, 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 this five of swords here just makes you feel like in your head there's some conflict here. And I think the conflict is just that you have head games when it comes to this person. Maybe you're not um, by yourself. I don't know, but you still play with them. I don't know. That's just what I'm saying. There's something here that gives you a head game. There's something here that makes you feel um, like something's just not right. That's why you're always juggling this emotion. Not going to pick up the call. Not going to answer the text. But you do it because you have to. You're aware of it. You have to. There's something that makes you do it. Something. You know how people say sometimes, I said I was going to leave them alone. Next thing you know, here they are back with them. You know, you say you're going to leave something alone, but no matter what, you end up being back with them. That's the, what the energy is here for this relationship. So let's see why the Ace of Pentacles is here. Show me why the Ace of Pentacles is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Oh, I have the Hierophant. I have the Hierophant. Huh. This is someone you want to marry. This can be a Taurus person as well. can be anyone, but Hierophant represents Taurus. Um, this is someone that you want to marry. And because here, here's the Ace of Pentacles at the, at, in the middle. You would have an abundant marriage with them. You guys would do well together. This is someone that grounds you too. Someone that keeps your head, pulls your head out of the clouds, and you guys grow together. This is someone that that um that takes you on a journey of growing, of of learning, of um a love journey. This is this person for you. So let's see why is the hanged man here again? Show me spirit guides. Why is the hanged man here again? Show me spirit guides. Well, 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 well. Thank you, Spirit, guys. Oh, my goodness. There's a Two of Cups, and here's a Two of Cups again. I am telling you exactly <laughs> what the Spirit, guys, want you to know. This person you are in love with. This person is more than just a, a, a playmate. This person is more than just a love mate. This person is everything to you, and you are everything to them. When it comes to this person, you just think alike, you love alike, you care alike, you have this public displays of affection. You can't keep your hands off each other. This is, and you know this because here's the hangman here. It's on fire. You're on fire when you're with this person. Here's this two of cups again. So let me see what the spirit guys want to know. Want me to know about this two of cups again. You're on fire right now with this person. I don't know what's going to happen, but show me spirit guys. Show me spirit guys. Huh. I've got the Knight of Wands, so I know exactly why. Even though it's the Two of Cups, um, at the bottom, the Knight of Wands is here. And the Knight of Wands is a very passionate card, but here's the deal. This is why you're in conflict in your head-to-head -head game. Because here, this person almost does the same thing you do. You've kind of met your match, I think, with this person. Because the Knight of Wands means this is someone that doesn't want to be committed, doesn't want to be tied down, doesn't want to at all, wants to do their own thing. And you always say you're not going to pick up the call. You're not going to answer because you you want something more, but they don't want anything more. This two of cups lets me know you want something more, but they still are noncommittal. That's what the problem is. They're noncommittal, right? They're emotionally unavailable, but they told you. 
They don't want they don't want that. You want marriage though. You want marriage. So let's see here the six of cups at the very beginning of this reading. The six of cups. This is someone that you just can't leave alone. You keep coming back and forth. You just can't leave alone. Two of Pentacles is there as well. But then you have the hangman, which means you know. You say you're not gonna do something, but you do it every time. You pick up the phone, you answer the text, you answer the email, you answer the DM, whatever. You do it every time because you can't leave them alone. Two of Pentacles, like I said, is here. You juggle this emotion, you go back and forth saying, I'm gonna leave them. I'm not going to leave them. But here's this five of swords. Every time you get back with them, there's a five of swords energy that's there. And that's the energy of conflict in your mind. You're, they play head games with you. I don't think they do it to you on purpose, but I think they do it to you because it's almost like you've met your match. Because this is someone, see, see, because the Ace of Pentacles is in the middle of the read. And the Ace of, that's not why you've met your match. You've just met your match here. And I'm going to keep reading so you'll, we'll reiterate this at the end. But here's the Ace of Pentacles abundant you know if you marry this person which can be the hierophant card is there um can be a taurus that you will have abundance abundance in love money all of the above generosity but here's the hangman again awareness you are you are so in love with them you guys think alike love alike care alike there's nothing that you can do with this relationship that's not i mean it's public displays of affection you do everything with and for this person and here's the Two of Cups again. It's here again, but here's the problem. You love alike. You have public displays of affection when you're together. I mean, it's on and popping when you're together. But that Knight of Wands is there. And that Knight of Wands is an on and off energy. And that's the problem. That's the reason I say you met your match. You know, of course, you're pretty known for loving and leaving. You're pretty known for not being um, committal or not being committed to people. And here's what you got working right now. Somebody that's not being committed to you. And that's why I said you've met your match. You've met your match. But let's see what my African queens are going to tell you. Let's see, uh, Aquas. What are my African queens going to tell you about this relationship? Show me, spirit guys. Show me, African queens. What do you want to tell me? Show me. Huh. Well, I have Queen Nefertiti, alchemy, which means you have great chemistry with this person. You and this person just match. With that two of cups and two of cups in there, everything, you keep coming back to them, there's a match here. There's a match, but you just haven't, but they have, they're still noncommittal. I'm just being very honest. You've met your match. And that's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Aqua. <laughs> 